rehab after surgery now just a click away. And now you can do the rehab right there in your own home. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa with a virtual system. It monitors you closely along with your physical therapist who's miles away at the rehab center. Yale New Haven Hospital, the first in the New England area to offer this in-home virtual exercise rehabilitation program to patients. Meet Vera, the avatar. Okay, your turn. Vera guides Pete Riccio through moves tailor-made for him after knee replacement surgery. Said, bring it on. <laughs> because they basically said that we are going to try this out and we think it will lead to a quicker recovery. And I'm a very active person. So the quicker, the better. This in-home virtual exercise rehabilitation assistant program does what any physical therapist would say and do. Start with your feet shoulder width apart. Saving Pete a trip to the rehab center. It's probably easier than your TV remote to operate. Yale New Haven Hospital Center for Musculoskeletal Care is the first in New England to offer it to patients. John Tarutis heads up physical medicine and rehab services. Our therapists adjust the exercise program through that whole course of treatment from prehab to post. Patients start working with Vera pre-surgery to build up strength. Orthopedic surgeon Dr. David well, Gibson. And the stronger the patient that comes in, the better the patient is coming out. The steps continue in their hospital room post-surgery before going home with their customized exercises. This allows the patients to control when they get therapy, how much therapy they do, and it really is important for the patient's psyche in terms of their outcome. Their sessions with Vera are recorded and monitored closely by therapists who do it in real time or by assessing the data, keeping patients accountable and on track. I think we can look to our own individual experiences or those of our loved ones to know that we don't always follow the physical therapy plan at home when we're left on our own. Dr. Mary O'Connor, director of the Center for Musculoskeletal Care. We need to be open to innovative ways of delivering higher quality care at lower cost. Care which Pete Riccio has embraced. That week ahead of surgery was wonderful because you got a very good idea of what was coming forward and how you were supposed to handle it. Vera is currently a pilot program, but Dr. O'Connor says it will likely become permanent. Back to you.